Hello and a very warm welcome. We crown Max world champion of 2021 in an unbelievable season as we saw the young guy go against the greatest of all time. And yeah, what a season it was. Of course, Sunday was heartbreaking. I've accepted it now. As tough as it is to take, I've accepted it that Max is the champion of the world. And yeah, first Dutch Formula One champion. Yeah, it was hard to accept it. I came on, I congratulated him. And yeah, I feel like... It's just poor. It's really poor. All Mercedes should just accept it as well. But, of course, it's in their right to appeal. Max was at Milton Keynes yesterday celebrating with the team. He did a post-test at Abu Dhabi. Then he flew to the UK, uh, celebrated with the team at Milton Keynes. And then he'll be flying to France for the FIA Ceremony Awards later this evening so yeah um unbelievable i mean max probably a deserving champion um he won 10 races it was really nine races though because i don't really count spa as a win because that race was a non-event but yeah max has always been a super talent he's always been very aggressive and he doesn't care about the big names and that's why he's got so many fans. Um, first Dutch world champion. And as a Lewis Hamilton fan, Max is the kind of guy who will be pushing Lewis's records because he's got age on his side. Like, incredible scenes. Um, the emotion comes out on the radio at the end. But yeah, Max, the world champion. Mercedes... What are they going to do? Are they going to drop this? Because they're coming across as really unsportsmanlike now. Do they really believe they can take this to a court and get the result overturned? But then Lewis becomes an eight champ eight time champion. If it gets overturned, it feel it feels it feels like dirty. You've not won it on track. You're an eight time champion because they've changed their mind. Max and Lewis were not to blame. It was a complete mess up by those in charge, the race director. Um, yeah. Max and Lewis deserve praise him for a great season, arguably one of the best in the sport. And Max should be applauded for being world champion. He is the first, like, non Mercedes champion in ages. Of course, Rosberg took a championship off Hamilton. This is a 24, 24-year-old, first Dutch world champion, 2021 champion, and he's beat a seven-time champion. He deserves credit. As, as a Lewis fan, you've got to sometimes just say, well done, congratulate them. It's been a busy couple of days for Max, a lot of media interviews, of course, the FIA Prize Ceremony Awards tonight. He will be rewarded with um, the actual trophy, the F1 title. Be a special moment for Max. Literally, his dream as a kid was to become Formula One world champion. And he's achieved that at the early age of 24. He's up there with Alonso, Vettel, Hamilton, winning the championship at an early age. Um, yeah, I think he's had a great season, Max. You look at his dominant drive at Zandvoort. He got a bit of bad luck, but then, like I say, if my auntie was my uncle, she'd have a pair of balls. I mean, yeah, a lot of people like to talk about luck. Uh, I'm not really one for that. It's part of the sport. Of course, the tyre failure was inexcusable. That shouldn't happen. Um Hungary, I mean, Bottas decided not to break, um, which was interesting. A lot of toxic fans about the Silverstone incident as well. But yeah, I mean, it's part of the championship, isn't it? I mean, Max had a tyre failure at Baku. Lewis should have capitalised, should have been a win in the bag. 
25 points on his title rifle and he bottled it with a magic button switch. So it's all if buts maybes. If my grandmother had a pair of wheelers, she would have been a bike. So yeah, um, it's time. It was tough. Post-race, it was very tough to take. It felt like it was robbed from us. Um, but over the coming days, you start to just... I've accepted it now. I've accepted it. That Max is the champion. And as a Lewis fan, we come back fighting in 2022. And there may be another guy in this mix. Everyone's talking about Max Lewis. Don't count out George Russell. Yeah, he's going to be very ambitious to get in this mix. Finally got a car worth fighting for podiums every week. So, George will be fired up. But Max is the 2021 champion. Of course, it could get changed yet. Is that likely? I kind of wish Mercedes would just drop this. Very unsportsmanlike. Uh... Not posing for the FIA photo, not congratulating Christian Horner and Max. Apparently, Toto Wolf sent him a text, but why not do it in the public eye of the cameras instead of anyone can send a meanly, meaningless text? Lewis was the only one who showed class from the Mercedes camp. The rest of them showed their true colours. You dominate the sport for seven Seven drivers, eight constructors. The first time you've got competition, the first time you actually lose and you don't congratulate the opposition, you're putting in protests, appeals. It's like makes an absolute mockery of the sport, really. But it was all down to Mr. Michael Massey doing deals left, right and centre. Like, Jonathan... We went car racing. We went motor racing. Toto, this is a motor race. Well, okay, uh, Jonathan, uh, Max, cut the corner at turn one at Saudi. Now, I'll give you the opportunity to give the place back or we will take it to the stewards. Obviously, Red Bull. Okay, we'll switch the place, Michael. Okay, I've just seen Max push Lewis wide at Sao Paulo. Clearest penalty of my racing director's career. No penalty, no further action. Uh, I swear, he's like a job for the boys. He makes it up as he goes along. But yeah, I want all these appeals. It's 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 not right. It's just not right for the sport. And it's kind of tarnishing Max being the world champion. Very bitter, sour by Mercedes. For me, I've I've come to terms with it. I've accepted it. Max is the Formula One world champion. Yeah. Lewis did nothing wrong. He got done dirty. Nicholas Latifi and Michael Massey need to take blame. But Max did what he needed to do. No fault of Max. And he's the champion. And hopefully, we see this again in 2022. Comment down below your thoughts. Going to be interesting tonight as Max will be presented with the F1 title trophy. What a feeling for the Dutchman.